finally did it guys we have just officially completed the main quest the main story of starfield and i wanted to keep this intro short so you guys can experience it for yourselves because i know if i keep talking i'm probably gonna spoil something there was actually a point in time where i was debating stopping this series because there was something about the story that the game is fun you can loot you can do so many things you can explore you can go everywhere but there was something about the story that just wasn't captivating me i like the stories that really captivate you and move you and this game has an okay story but it's just mainly for you to explore and play a video game and get lost in it and that's exactly what this game does and it does it pretty well as far as story the first maybe eight hours i was like it's all right and then somewhere along the line of like maybe an episode or two ago everything started coming together and it ended up actually being a pretty decent story and i really enjoyed it and i'm really happy that i finished it and so i want you guys to experience it and let me know in the comments what you think um it's a really cool concept the way everything works and that's why you probably should finish the main quest if you're playing starfield hey guys welcome back and welcome to starfield so we're starting off today's episode we're attending sam cole's memorial it's a bit heavy on the heart but it must be done as this might just be our final and last episode in their memory thank you sarah if anyone else would like to say a few words. Say a few words. Oh God, me? Why me? Oh, Sarah, you okay? <laughs> Excuse me. All right, don't mess this up. Don't mess it up, don't mess it up, don't mess it up. Hello everyone. Uh, Sam was my friend. He would never, uh, we would never rest until he's avenged. If he was here, he would have wanted us to keep going to never stop. He was more than Aquila's prodigal son. He was the best among us. I'm going to miss him for the rest of my life. That might be a little too much. And I'll do everything I can to honor his memory. I like that one. Thank you. Okay. If anyone else wants to say something. A couple of words. Okay. Um, speak to Noel. I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done, it's not much. It's fine, Noel. Thank you. Good. I. Good. Sorry. If I talk any longer, I'm going to start crying. Um. Could you excuse me? I thought maybe I would come up with something to say, but I've got nothing. So instead, I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? Whoa. The more proper question would be, is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being. For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence is what was imagined by its mind, but what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I'm, I, um, thank you. I'm actually mostly interested in speaking to his daughter. Let's go speak to her. She's the most important one here. Hi. She hates us, by the way. Um, you can really be a total douche. So look, I'm literally the last person who should be talking to a kid about death. But here I am. That's so stupid. Are you okay? No. And don't keep asking. I'm not gonna be, all right? 
Everything's worse now. Ugh. But death is one of those occasions. No. I can't handle this. Dad. Dad is. Everyone keeps saying things. I don't have to lie. Mom. Grandpa. That is a so many people. What are you doing here? Why are you not with your mother or we your grandfather? It makes no sense. The pain of loss inspires us to greater action than that is the mm. good that comes from. Huh. Are we supposed to feel better? Humanity is what truly Just because we're all in one place? We are the ones that We've lost someone. To be good, Only natural to come together. Joyful. No, but if we drift wonderful. apart now, we won't be able to help each other. Honestly, I don't know. Let's take responsibility for it. I like the first one. It's just... It doesn't change anything. Does it? Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? <gasps> I never knew that. Whoa. Did yes, you hear that? well, I... Like to keep I just feel like I want to be a million light years away from everyone. I want to be alone for a while. Okay. 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 Well, I haven't seen you in a while. All right. So I think. I think it's probably best we get out of here. All right, back on the moon. It's been uh, it's been quite some time. Here we go. Go to Nova Galactic Research Station. All righty, guys. Question is how do we get inside? Ooh. Here we go. I thought for a second that wasn't gonna work. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. All right, I'm going to go first person mode here real quick just to make sure there's nothing too crazy here. Like this. All right, we've got a computer here. Let's take a look. The Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer. That is currently being contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see just how many decimal points of PI it can calculate. How many bits of encryption it can brute force. Or whether you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation. But there will be time for that later. For now, I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. We're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. That should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. Hmm. Project Prism launch. Play the recording on the roof. So it says, We're happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like uh, everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 9 EDT. Reminder to please... Sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. Our partner will also be on radio for the launch. We'll be recording the event, so be on your best behavior. Interesting. Okay, hold on, let me check this out. Take one of those. Got a door here. Obviously, before we go upstairs, we gotta do a nice, good old, thorough analysis of the area. What do we got here? A bathroom. Nice. Any guns? Maybe anything that I can use in, 
you know when i we get caught in a pickle we've got a little gym here and we've got some distilled water well i figured this probably wasn't going to be the spot to really gain anything as far as weapons or whatnot but Ooh. can't say no to money you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying Let's see here. More bullets. Stimulants. Perfecto. We're going to go upstairs now. I just want to make sure, you know. Ooh, a little trauma kit. Med pack. Thank you. Oh, well, well, well. Seems like we spoke too soon. Science crate, of course. Credits. And we've got a calibrated ground crew suit. I'm going to skip on that. I think we're probably going to have to go upstairs, like, through the outside. Let's do that. this when we searched it wait hold on a second whoa dude bro that is that is cool man tower yo what in the world what the heck dude <laughs> are we even supposed to be coming through this side or i want to go directly from like where we're supposed to go through I don't want to miss anything. Just make sure that we don't miss any sort of, I don't know, paperwork or what. Now this is opened. Okay, good. Bro, I didn't think we we're gonna be in, in like NASA. That's freaking nuts. All right, so was it through here? Whoa. What's the point of that? What the fuck? 
All right, let's go first person here. We're going to need it. No. <laughs> that is dope, dude. What the heck? That's freaking cool. A document tray. Man, remember when we went to Earth like two episodes ago or so? There was absolutely nothing. And to be honest, I'm I'm really happy I didn't find this place. I searched, man, but I just found a bunch of those like natural things, natural POIs. But I'm so happy I didn't find this because I would have been so conflicted. But now it's it's kind of making more sense now. A notebook. Does that notebook have anything? It does not. No power cell. Whoa. Wait, did we need to put that there? I don't need any of that. I think we're good. I think we did need to do that. Interesting. All right, so we're inside the uh, NASA launch facility. Whoa. This is wild. Find information about NASA. Yeah, this is pretty... Uh... Man, this is kind of sad. I'm telling you, man. This is very possible. You know, like... What if eventually... One day we go extinct, you know? I don't I, I don't want to scare you guys. I'm, I'm just saying in the future. 500, 1,000 years from now, 2,000 years, maybe more. But I'm a firm believer that wherever there is a beginning, there's always an end. That's with everything in life. All right, let's go ahead and research computer. Launch procedures. Remember, the final vitals and suit seal checks are essential. Yes, we've come a long way as far as tolerances. Yes, the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be. But these people's lives are still in our hands. I know there are rumors that the next launch is slated to be canceled, but let's not have that. Uh, let's not have that be on us. Assume it's go time every time. Your professionalism is what makes space travel just a bit safer. And we can use every ounce we can get. This is the access station logs. Error archives damaged running system recovery. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead... Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Hmm. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military handrails, checking who comes in and out. I joke that maybe he found a little gray man doing an autopsy, <laughs> and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I, I think I'm being invited into the lab. Hmm. Meeting day. Station log. Dr. Judith Satien. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I, I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. Wow. 
kind of crazy they never showed aliens in this game. They didn't even like dabble and you know they didn't entertain it at all. She spoke about gray men, but that's as much as we've gotten from that. Is there anything here? No. Wow, guys, this is so freaking cool. Wow. <laughs> Yo. No way. What the heck? <gasps> oh my gosh. This is like a big deal. <laughs> This is huge! Look! Guys, this is, this is a big, big deal. I'm so happy they included this, bro. <laughs> Please let me open that. Please. Oh. <laughs> no way, dude. That's fucking awesome. You know what? It's not as strong, but should we equip that? That's so freaking cool. <laughs> Bro, what? Oh man, that's freaking awesome. Look at this, bro. Yo! <laughs> Apollo from 1968 to 72 project Apollo was the first successful program to put humanity on Earth's moon the first moon landing that occurred on July 20th 1969 was actually Apollo's 11th flight with all previous launches testing all the modules orbits and other critical data needed to ensure the astronauts could reach the moon and return safely funny how they were able to do that right so long ago and today in 2023 they're not able to do it makes you wonder project gemini 65 to 66 in many ways project gemini was a learning mission while nasa's ultimate goal was to put a human being on the moon many questions had to be answered before the project apollo could even begin Gemini was tasked with answering how a person could survive in space over many days. How to connect with spacecraft together. Uh, how to connect spacecraft together and how to improve space with technology to operate outside of spacecraft. Bro, this is like my favorite suit. Fuck. Adapted from a design originally intended for high altitude aircraft, the Mercury spacesuit would undergo several modifications to deal with pressure, oxygen, and thermal considerations. Even though the cabin of the Mercury spacecraft itself protected against the rigors of space travel, redundancy has always been key. In the event that the cabin were to depressurize and expose astronauts to vacuum of space, their Mercury spacesuits would uh, be able to offer a critical extra layer of defense. Wow, this is, man, this is great. The Lunar Rover, 71 and 72, the Lunar Rover was used for the last Apollo mission and could carry two astronauts. The Chevron thread patterns on the wheels were made from titanium to help maintain traction on the moon's surface. The Rover was also fully electric and ran on batteries whose power was intended to last for the duration of the mission. Leaving Earth forever. Whoa. In 2050. 2150, I'm sorry. Okay. Scientists first predicted the destruction of our beloved Earth. 
Atmospheric phenomena would cause breathable air to sputter outside of Earth's gravity, doing all life that remained. An estimated 50 years until the end has given NASA and other space agencies around the world the opportunity to migrate humanity away from certain death and into the stars. Thanks in part to the development of the grav drive, humanity will live on. Man, yo, that would be some spooky shit. Wow. <laughs> Wow. The MER program. The Mars Exploration Rover program launched in 2003 and allowed for the remote exploration and study of Mars. Two twin rovers were made, nicknamed Spirit and Opportunity. While Spirit ceased communications uh, in 2010, the Opportunity rover continued operations well into 2018, exceeding its initial planned time by over 14 years. By the way, I did switch out the uh, suit. This suit that I have right now, considering it's legendary, it does have some extra perks. And some of those perks, or one of those perks is it allows me to carry more items. And I'm kind of completely stacked right now. So, in the Apollo 11 mission, the Lunar Module Eagle was the first crewed spacecraft to touch down on Earth's moon. Eagle's counterpart was the Command Module Columbia, which the Lunar Module needed to both separate from uh, from and eventually reattach to Columbia would uh, take astronauts to and from the orbit of the moon while Eagle would bring them to and from the surface. Hmm. What is this here? Project Prism. NASA partnered with the uh, Nova Galactic, the creators of the Volatile Supercomputer on an ambitious aerospace project to pull gravity itself. Hmm. That's how we grab drive, right? The result is the the result is the first spacecraft capable of faster than light travel. The first successful voyage saw astronauts reaching Jupiter in moments what would have previously taken years. Yeah, that's basically uh, that gravitational pull. Same thing. What do we have here? Project Prism. Uh, it's all the same thing. This is a little bit different. Living outside Earth. While long-term missions in space began in the late 1990s, with programs such as the International Space Station, humanity began living on other planets almost 100 years later. Small outposts of five or fewer scientif uh, scientific research teams eventually gave away uh, to entire colony efforts on Mars and uh, other orbiting bodies of our solar system. Can we go in there? That'd be funny. Oh, we could. Well, there's really nothing there. <laughs> or wait, 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 wait. Is there? All right, let's not try before we get stuck in there. Let's go up here real quick. med pack here. Ow, I think I just fucking broke a bone or something. Judith, personal recording. I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to pump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against a brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Hmm. Find information about the prototype grab drive.
This is cool, man. I feel like the game took a little bit longer than I wanted it to to arrive at this point. Because the beginning did kind of dread. I'm not even going to lie. The beginning was... You know, the first couple of hours was great. And there was a few hours after the fact that uh, I do feel like the story dragged a bit. But this is um, kind of coming full circle now. This is nice. Finally getting the explanations that I've been searching for. We can call it that. Let me just check here. Well, that was fucking pointless. What do we have here? Can we go over there? Oh, this doesn't fucking boost boost jump. Doesn't have thrusters. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? You see there it is. It's locked. Too difficult. There it is. Power required. Maybe the power's here. Power switch. Excellent. Woohoo! We're in, baby! Careful now. Got ourselves a little 1911. Kick your ass. All right, let's go first person mode here. Oof, that feels nice. It's like a real gun. Super cooled magnet. Kind of pointless. That's okay. The fuck is this? Advanced. Oh man, we got we got this one by luck here. Truthfully. Stilled water, sealant. And all these things have like garbage. We have this. I don't know if we're gonna need that. some sort of battery. I guess we'll find out. I think we are gonna need it. There's probably one here, anyways. Yep. There was one right there. Even though I know there's not going to be anything spooky here, it's it's still kind of creepy, man. What is this? Ooh, I like that one. We have another one already. It's just I think that one was a bit stronger. Let's see. Which direction are we going this way? Find information about the prototype. Grab drive. Why are we going over here? Hello? Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Spoke too soon. Snap. 
Got to reload. Uh, that's just wonderful. <laughs> you thought suckers. Come here. One more. Where you at? Probably for the drones, a hundred percent for the, or like the, uh, yeah, the robots that were shooting us. Power required. Okay, hold on. This is getting kind of interesting. But look at this. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad I did not do that. Wow. Are you serious? Why would I want to do that? I'm already inside. Shit, wait, did you get in there? Really? Shit. Perfect. All that for the turrets. Sensational. Okay, we've got power. go Woohoo Hello uh Oh, I hear something outside. Is that a spaceship? It's crazy cuz here there's like no bullets or anything. You find way different uh, materials and resources than what you do at uh other areas in the outer planets we've been to. This place has been massive. I'm really happy they included it, by the way. Like, just to throw that out there. Really, really happy that they included NASA. I thought that was pretty cool. The NASA Research Computer. Security procedures. Check all the badges before allowing access. Yes, even the generals. I don't care how angry they get. These are direct orders from the secretary. Absolutely no phones or recording devices. All written materials, clipboards, notebooks are to be checked on exit from the labs. Confiscate anything with confidential information on it. Project log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Interesting. Project Lock, Dr. Judith Tatian. I watched the Gravjet test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but. Now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives. Expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming. And worrying. It could take years. Decades before we know what all the side effects of operating a grav drive can be. But no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. Hmm. Wow. Go 
But wait, there is more. Oh, can we go in here? Of course we can. The same thing, right? <laughs> it's like the third time they catch us with that shit. Wait, can I go there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? This is getting creepy. Hold on. We'll be we'll be right back. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Wow. Maintenance key. Does the notepad say anything? Prototype drive. Please be careful whenever running power through the prototype. Secure all loose objects and uh, have researchers empty pockets or remove jewelry, watches, etc. Remind, uh, reminder that the core of the drive contains a specimen that is irreplaceable and all data is under the strictest clearance. Exercise all caution with all research materials and ensure information does not leave this lab. Air archives damaged. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the grab drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. The only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we've seen. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I just want to be sure. It's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Mm. As requested, the astrophysics research team has done a full analysis of the data you provided us. The measurements of the Earth's uh, mag magnetosphere show clear signs of uh, fluctuation, often in correlation of, to the periods of frequent and large gravity wave spikes. Emanating from the moon. Hmm. These gravity waves seem to be affecting the magnetic shield provided by the Earth's inner core and may be affecting the core itself given the proximity to the source. Data indicates the change rate is increasingly exponential. As our magnetosphere falters, its ability to protect us from the sun's solar wind falters. Beyond the devastating effects of solar radiation, this will lead to something more dire the sputtering. 
or stripping away of our atmosphere. This has happened before to Mars, a planet studied since the earliest days of space, to see into Earth's uh, possible future. We are afraid this future may be closer than we ever thought imaginable. Some may view this data as normal. There have been historical fluctuations and polarity changes of uh, Earth's core, but this is uh, orders of magnitude greater. We see echoes of previous generations' debates over global warming, and we want the science here to be clear. Like waves in the ocean, these gravity waves rise and eventually crash into shore. The Earth with devastating consequences. I know what I'm seeing, Victor. The data coming back from the satellites is very clear. It's the graph drives. All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start sputtering out into space. Can the drives be fixed? I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem. Under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God, one that science has found a solution for. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, didn't you? You lied to me. I... All this time. I dedicated my life to this discovery, Victor. And you knew we were going to kill off our planet? You haven't seen the future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could have hit Earth. A plague, another world war. Colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home. Stop it, both of you. All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. I'm sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. <laughs> Damn. We are never <laughs> speaking again after this is over. Damn, bro. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession. Whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. Wow. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Bro, what a fucking revelation. Sheesh, that's insane. Wow, bro. That is so interesting, man. Like, especially if you're fascinated by this whole, like, space. You know, like, if you believe in space and other planets. That is 
fucking fascinating. Let's go ahead and release it. Did I just make a? F Did I just go around in a circle? I'm an idiot. Yep, I'm an idiot. That's a maintenance key. Oh, there we go. Take the artifact. Okay, that's a little bit too much to ask for, considering the freaking size of that thing. There we go. It was the artifact inside. Observation, and it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So, you might have company. Wait, what? The fuck? Yo, that was the hunter just spoke to me like that. Alright, y'all boys really want that heat. Bring it then, asshole. Bring it! Uh-oh. Starborn. I saw his body just here. I wanted to loot him. Alright, let's go up top. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Starborn, but damn, I can't loot it. That sucks. <laughs> I'm pretty much a starborn myself nowadays. In case you didn't know. All right, we need a. Right, we need a power cell. There's got to be a power cell somewhere here. Uh, there it is. Thank you. actually looted this spot already yeah I love this gun man actually I'm gonna use this one too this one's really fun yeah we've looted everything here everything we wanted from here Save the game, I'm about to die. Oh, my God! Yo, oh, my God, somebody help. Let 
me go ahead and save again. This is nasty business. That one's pretty nice. Open up. I need to get more bullets for that gun. Oh, he just re he just healed up. Hey, stay away from me, bro. For real, for real. I'm not even fucking around anymore. Stay away from me. I want out of this. I want no part of this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God. What a freaking mission, bro. That's insane. All right, so where do we go? Back to our... Look who's here, boys! Huh? Do you understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Damn. Sacrificing Earth wasn't worth having. Rav drives. We lost our home. Hmm. Yeah. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That is why we watch over them. The only thing you are watching out for is yourself. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I do know that if you choose the hunter, you do get like some sort of side mission possible or possibly, excuse me, and you can get some like really interesting loot. So let's go. Let's go for the hunter. Finally, common sense. Do not do this. Even if you agree with the hunter's methods, he is only looking out for himself. Oh, I think we all know that. But I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. An alliance with the hunter seems like the winning strategy. Yes, I also like picking winners. Fine. You two have made your choice. The usual place. <laughs> the buried temple. Oh yes, we'll be there. No. I'm sorry it's come to this. <laughs> you and I better have a chat. Talk through the next steps. I have a little favor I want to ask you, too. A favor? 
you'll be coming with me. Oh, I'm not missing this. <laughs> I'll be meeting you there. What should I do to prepare? If I were you, I'd find as many of the temples as I could. You'll need all the power you can get. Why are we waiting? Couldn't we attack the emissary now? No, uh, this is how it works. Trust me, I've tried this a bunch of ways. The emissary will wait at the buried temple for us. Gives you a little time to prepare before the final throwdown. And for our part, we wait to kill them until we get there. I mean, maybe the emissary will kill us instead, but uh, I like our odds. <laughs> Let's hear about this favor you want done. What's the buried temple? Oh, it's a little playground where Starborn liked to fight over the last artifact before going to the Unity. You like it? It's got everything. Hmm. What's the favor? Keeper Aquilus. <sighs> my illustrious counterpart. He's a loose end that needs tying. Whoa, whoa. What the f Isn't he you? Why murder him? Or why murder yourself? First, he led you to my meeting with the emissary. Now, that's turned out well for me, but it's hardly good to have someone who knows your secrets hanging around. Mm. Second, I don't like him. You'll understand once you've been through a few times. Other versions of yourself have a habit of being distasteful <laughs> killing him gets us nothing and I'm murdering an innocent man in cold blood see the war he's dead on the contrary it cements my trust in you sorry to be pushy in the beginning of our partnership but I insist hmm damn this guy's relentless let me take in this moment it's not every day you get to send an assassin after yourself. <laughs> Good luck. Bro. So before we head over to Revelations, which should be the last and final quest, we're going to go ahead and tackle Infinity's End, which says the hunter wants me to kill Keeper Aquilus, his other self from another universe. So we can either kill him or warn him about the hunter. I'm thinking, honestly, I'm probably going to warn him. Although I also wanted to come here and add some perks or abilities that I've been eyeing for some time. And I'm going to go ahead and do the last and final upgrade for our boost pack, which doubles previous bonuses everything here should be doubled now on top of that i've also been wanting to upgrade the ballistics 30 percent more damage i also wanted to upgrade our wellness which is going to increase our maximum health by 40 percent i could also just go now and upgrade something randomly because i have one skill point left but i think i'm just going to keep that there for now until one of the other skills that I want to upgrade kind of pops up. I think we, we should be fine. I always thought this guy was a little suspicious, not gonna lie, but... Is there let's, anything I can help with? let's see what happens. Did you find it? Your answers? I haven't had a chance to talk about all the truths of unity in quite some time. Interesting. You're a starborn. You're the hunter. I was expecting to find something spiritual, not a multiverse. Let's tell him. Let's just be upfront. Unfortunately, I need to maintain my habit of saying yes and no. Are you really starborn if you're not hunting for the artifacts? When you stop racing toward glimpsing the unity? They may have no unified culture, but rituals persist that make all Starborn who they are. And am I really the hunter anymore? Can you call all of us the same man? Every version through every universe? At what point 
do we have the right to our individuality? Hmm. I trust the man of peace over the bloodthirsty killer any day. The hunter killed my friend. You're part of who he is and his crimes. This multiverse talks. Uh, talk makes me uh, makes my head hurt. I want to be mad at just one version of one person. I appreciate that. But there is a part of my other self I recognize in me. Jumping between universes gives you a chance to start again. And we all have regrets. Hmm. Anyway, if you do get to the unity, I hope you keep our conversations in mind. Figure out your own truth and hold on to it. It could end up being the only constant you have amidst the infinite worlds that will stretch out before you. Okay, so here we go. Whoa, there's a bunch of choices. The raised universal. Uh, I know I was raised in Sanctum, but I'm not sure I believe anymore. I met the hunter. He wants to kill you. Just how many universes have you been to? Hmm. Let's ask that. That's actually a difficult question to answer. There was a time when I just stopped counting. Whoa. I didn't care anymore. Only touching the infinite again mattered. But as my need for answers deepened, my pace slowed. I began to take in more. Sometimes I would try to share my experiences with others. It was a long time until I realized this is where I belonged. In this universe. Building the Sanctum. How does the Sanctum's view on unity square with the actual unity? Which one is the actual unity, the concept, or the nexus between universes? Oh, God. The fact that a real center point between us all exists makes me believe more strongly that something greater is out there. I met the hunter. He wants to kill you. Uh, let's go with this one. Faith does not always come easy. And once you have it, doubt is not uncommon. By its very nature, faith asks you to believe in something you cannot touch, or taste, or prove. So tell me, what troubles you? Damn. I've traveled the stars themselves. There's no God out there. I feel like the enlightened are on the right path. It's hard to put into words. Hmm. <sighs> I believe there's a God, me personally, but I'm just, let's see what he says about that. Really? Do you think humanity being brought into space was an accident? Mm. Our hands may have built the grab drive, but wasn't something else pushing us? I like that. Isn't there something more that could be out there? Hmm. Remove, raise, universal trait per... No, I'm not going to choose that. I feel a lot better talking to, uh, talking to you about it. My door is always open to the faithful. Interesting. There are so many mysteries in the universe, so many unknowns that I try to help out others whenever I get the chance. Here we go. <laughs> of course, how could he not? It's exactly what I would do if I was still as lost as he is. You are never fully separate from your other selves. Not completely. Do we somehow share a soul and is it merely our actions that differ? Huh. Another of a million questions to ponder. Persuade. Leave, Keeper. Go somewhere the hunter cannot find you. Goodbye, Aquilus. Still don't understand why does he want you dead? Let's ask him that. Imagine that there's someone that looks like you, knows everything about you, but whose choices might as well be a stranger's for all the sense they make. It can make your skin crawl. 
as if someone is playing a joke with your very existence. Murdering them is a way to take back control. Mm. To say no. Persuade Keeper. Let's persuade him to leave. I don't want to kill him. And leave you to join my counterpart to enter the Unity? Are you prepared to take that step into the infinite? What kind of person is heading through there? Ooh. We believe God is out there. Let me continue our search in the multiverse. I suppose that is the natural conclusion to make. Bringing the search into the infinite. You believe unity is more than something to be fought over. I can't let that idea die with you. I appreciate that. Hmm. You don't need to test me. I know what I'm doing. I hope that's true. I see you did pay attention to our talks. Very well. I'll leave. Thank you for giving me this chance. I'll need to uh, make some arrangements here and then I'll be gone. Now we have to head over to the hunter. So if we go over to the hunter, I love pressing Y and then the game just automatically takes you to where you gotta go. Let's go over here. Talk to the hunter. Wait, I don't want to go there just yet. Before we finish this mission, going back to the hunter, let's go ahead and start off revelations. All right, so guys, future me here. And so as I'm editing this video, I just wanted you to know if you're doing this particular walkthrough yourselves, please go talk to the hunter. Do not do what I just did. I wanted to finish the last and final mission and then come back. And without spoiling anything, don't do that. Just go speak to the hunter. I haven't come alone. We will stop you from exploiting the artifacts. You and the hunter. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm sorry, the hunter was just a better ally. You and a few starborn ships aren't gonna stop me. Oh shit. Where the helix went. 
but I think they just. Whoa. Excuse me? What's the buried temple anyway? Let's just ask him. Emissary won't be able to stop both of us. Let's not waste any time. Once we're on the ground, you'll be taking point. I'm looking forward to seeing more of what you can do. Hmm. Whoa. Land at the buried temple. Where's that? Guys, we have arrived at the buried temple. Let's do this. Whoa. What the fuck is that? What was that? Oh. Oh, that's that's you. Okay, we're good. We're friends, right? Hello. Again. <laughs> Yo, I like his gun. Let's go find the emissary, shall we? I'm sure we'll meet plenty of their friends along the way. Let's go. Plenty, you say? Look at this, bro. Anybody want to die? I'm going to start off with something simple here. This is interesting. We're obviously going to loot this a bit. Want to make sure we're not missing out on any good uh, loot of sorts. Credits and credits, of course. Credits, credits. Can can say no credits. Zero wire. Don't want that. Don't need that. Ain't gonna grab that. Don't want to get too heavy now. Let's see. Find the artifact. Oh shit. Hamburger meat. What's up here? Have we, we haven't been here. Why does it say my own blue? There, man, there is so much to loot here. This is crazy. Another one of these spacesuits. I think we had that one in the very beginning and then we just sold it. kind of glad I came up here. Whoa. This was an assassination. Oh my god. Frag grenade. I'll take that. Thank you very much. More credits. Oh my god. Bro, look at this. It's just free loot here. I feel terrible. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm deviating from the from the path. I'm sorry. I'm just perfect. All right. Just checking out the area, guys. That's all. I'm gonna need some of this stuff. I'm gonna need bullets. That's the only reason why I'm looting. Obviously, the credits are also nice. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I'll grab that. Type equipment we've have. Uh, what is this? I'll grab that too. Polymer. You know what? I'll take the polymer. Why not? Let's 
go first person here. Make this a little bit quicker. Lettuce, potatoes. Mm, I'll leave that there. Anything else here of interest? I think uh, I think we're good. A med pack. All right. Nothing back here. All right, Mr. Hunter, you better not betray me. I'll blow your brains out. I'm telling you right now. You know I'm more than capable. There's so much going on. Oof. My God. So many dead robots. Or dead soldiers. Robots don't really... They don't die. They're just destroyed. They're just destroyed. All right, we got some suits here. Just want to see what what we got. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I'm going to drop that. I already got one of those. Ooh, that's really nice, too. But I have one of those, too. The navigator. Yeah, we have one of those as well. I'll keep that just for collection purposes. Thanks, boys. Notice how they're really giving us a lot of loot here before we encounter these guys. I mean, the game in general gives you a lot. But this is like over the top, I would say. Just a lot of dead bodies just to... I don't know, just to loot. That's a hint. That what's about to come is going to be crazy. Look at this. More ammo. Yo, I actually went and bought some ammo thinking, damn, I'm going to be really low. And here we are. This game just giving us a shit ton of free ammo. And that's one of the most ex expensive things in this game. The ammo. You would not think, but it is extremely expensive. Look at this. <laughs> I'm not sure who thought of it first. But getting those ecliptic mercs to build a little fortress on top of a temple was pretty inspired. Of course, we'll still need to kill a few starborn too. Okay, no problem. I'm down with that. I'm cool with that. Credits. Wow, oh, they're giving us a lot of credits. A lot of money here. Let me pull out the handgun again.
over. We reign victorious. Let me just check. See. Okay, that one's not that good. I just want to make sure. I wish we could loot the starborn. Like, why can't? I mean, I've gone to, or at least I've attempted to go over the bodies, but I haven't really had any luck with that. Well, they came here and fucked shit up. That meat looks good. Shit. Credits. I think we've literally made more money here than anything else. And obviously than in anywhere else. I mean. Look at this. What's up with that grand though? I like that gun, but. Seems like I just somewhat abandoned it, to be honest. I'll take, uh, I'll take that. Take some ammo. Travel pack. All right, boys. Ooh. Oh, this guy's cut in half. Holy smokes. I mean, damn. There's going to be more here. Did you pick? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A heart plus. Okay. Come on. Don't, don't do this. Trauma pack. Storage crate. Just keep going. We'll have plenty of time. I feel like I've done so much looting through this series that... I just want to bore you guys. That's pretty nice. Not better than what we have, clearly. I think we have one just like that. Death is only the beginning. Oh. Where are you? Oh, you guys are fucked. You coming at me with level fives? <laughs> oh no, these are no, you guys are done. What happened here? Why is he dead but not dead? Oh, this is our ally. What? Bro, I'm confused. Are you on my side or not? What the hell? What the fuck? It's like two sides here. Perfect. Sorry, boys. Look at this thing, bro. 
It doesn't matter what level you are. You're going down. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. What is that? I gotta equip that. That's, that's a... I'm telling you, man, this area here has given us a lot of stuff. Right, we're going to multiple areas here. Let me loot these bodies. You guys may not believe me, but I think I just had some deja vu. And in my deja vu, everything turned out just fine. All right, let's go. I, I need to check this gun out. I, I just have to. This is crazy. Let's put this down here. Seems to be some sort of like massive high powered revolver. Oh, fucking lovely. Can we go up there? Let's let's check that place out. Look at this. I will take that just for the sake of having a legendary, you know? You know what I mean? Let's go up here. down below just in case a med pack and more dead robots more destroyed robots i gotta stop saying that that don't even make sense all right i'm sorry bro you were my friend you even have a daughter here and you lied and for that you will die that girl's gonna hate us we, we're gonna kill her father twice She's going to hate us, bro. Look at the freaking scratches from, like, the lasers and stuff. It's pretty nuts. Excuse me. Good for the most. 
most part. Except for the grenades. And... We're gonna skip that safe. Alright. I'm sure we can come back here anytime and Talking nonsense. Oh shit. Oh my god. What is this? Hello, guys? Is that us? Okay, you. You're what? up. What the f something goes wrong in there? We'll come get you. Huh? Why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't we? <gasps> Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. This is the beginning of the game. What are you waiting for? Lynn, the artifact. It's more important than you imagined. So I'll bear your uh, doubling your price. I was just fighting a starborn. I shouldn't be here. Oh boy. We've got an Aurora user. <laughs> what? You took a hit right before your shift? We'll be talking about this later, Dusty. Now get in that cavern. This is interesting. Okay. Let me save because I think my game just froze. Uh, yeah, my game just froze. Alright, so we're back. Apparently... It froze on me again, and I just realized if you speak to Heller, it's when the game freezes. So we're not going to speak to him. We're just going to keep going here. Why am I not wearing a helmet? They're, they're wearing helmets here. Why am I all of a sudden all super cool? And why not? Uh oh. Whoa. Ah, there you are. Enjoy your little jaunt of the multiverse. There will be a few more up ahead. Whoa. Was that my past or another universe entirely? It's a multiverse. Both of those questions are probably true somewhere in the infinite. But if you were worried that you just murdered someone from your past, then I think the odds are low. Yes. I don't want to do this. I really don't. I, I, I'm in the middle of a freaking war and you want me to start. No. Navigator. Been there, done that. Not interested. Let's go. This place should be available to us anyways. I 
get some eggs. You didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. Captain Petrov, I'm about to finish the most important collection in the settled systems. Oh no, not you again. Of all people in time and space to be sent to. I'm still sorry I stole the artifact from you, Petrov. It really was for science. Hmm. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief. An opportunist. A liar. That's not fair. I would have gladly paid for the artifact if you would have let me. Yeah, that's right. I saw what I needed and took it. Whoever's doing this, I don't appreciate this little time capsule of yours. It's more than credits that the Unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Oh shit. Guards! We're gonna do this all over again? We're really doing this again? Really? Again? You know what? Let me try this shit out. Oh, they're dead. Never mind. Damn, guys, I was just gonna try this new weapon. Thank you. Oh, this guy died. Uh, oh. Why is he still moving? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, bro. Alright, where's Petrov? More credits. And the outfit. Seems like we're gonna steal it again. Oh, never mind. It's like we're going this back to. Is we are getting to you. Don't let it. Yeah, we're like going everywhere that we've been. Or almost everywhere that is. You can make it! Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! Wow. I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. That... that was me. This is another universe, one where I died. What the? Crixus goats! <laughs> what kind of cruelty is this? Is some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? 
Whoa, whoa, uh, I'm not here to hurt you, Vladimir. Vladimir, listen to me. The artifacts, they point to a multiverse, a place called the Unity. I always did wonder if I could take you one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's fucked up. Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? I know uh, losing a member of Constellation is hard, but we make it through this. Uh, we'll make it through this. Or we make it through this. Keep going. I don't care who died, even if it was me. It's nothing next to the power we uncover. It's not worth it in the end, Vladimir. I'd give all, all, I'd give all the artifacts away to have my friend back. We meet minds there. Never tell you the cost, do they? Well, ghost from the other side. I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. What the f That's so trippy, man. But it makes so much sense. Wow, bro. That's so cool. saw ourselves die or dead already but the artifact awaits it's time to end another cycle here we are and so they say the cycle continues Like spoiling you right now. There ain't no damn way. Wait a minute. Oh god. Oh, you boys don't fuck up. Oh, you guys are fucked. Hold on. I was honestly gonna buy this weapon, and I didn't. And I'm so happy I didn't. Actually, no. This is not it. This is a fucking auto. This is a. Man, I thought it was a smart gun, like that machine gun. Whoa, this is oh, oh, shit. Of the infinite. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't think I was going to be amped up today, did you? Oh, my God. They fucked me up. Oh my gosh. All right, 
Are we ready for what's about to come? Cause I don't, I don't know if we're ready. <laughs> Are we ready for this? More and more. We haven't even got into the buried temple. That's that's some shit. Uh oh. I know you're not the person I lost all those universes ago. But my heart still breaks just the same. Wow. I can't do this. I can't watch you die again. Just hand over the artifacts, please. You know I cannot do that. Just won the artifacts, not your life. There's multiple universes, right? I win this one, you win the. I don't think that's gonna work, but it's more points. Let's try. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've laughed, but you are wrong. I hate the hunter, I get it. Or, excuse me, you hate the hunter, I get it, but I'm not him. I only came here for the artifacts. I don't believe you. Your sincerity is hollow. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, they do call me hollow, but... Um, would you rather I kill you? Hand over the artifacts? You're nothing but a self-appointed judge. For you to say who's worthy of the unity. Oh, my God. True. By that measure, you are a success. I could have attacked you at the lodge like the hunter, but you uh, you could have attacked me at the lodge like the hunter, but you didn't. You're not a person of violence. You're right. Very well. If there is even a faint glimmer of the same person I knew, I will honor their wishes. Here. Now go. Oh, that's cool. What? Nice. Oh, let me talk to him. Look at us, a great team. Now the unity awaits. Will this happen again next universe? Fighting you and the emissary? I'll need your artifacts to assemble the armillary. Is it armillary or armillary? I don't, I don't even know. Hmm, probably. But the similarities between universes blur after a while. It makes the differences all the sharper. I need your artifacts to assemble. Yes, you're right. Here, you've earned these. Once all the artifacts are together, the way to the unity will open. Then, you and I will be walking into the infinite. I'll be making myself at home on your ship from here on out. I want to make sure I'm nearby for the big moment. I'm just trying to get the dialogue out of the way here. Is that the armillary is your ticket to it? Save the rest for those hypocrites who want it to be something it's not. The armillary, okay. That's it. Now it's it. Does the partnership of ours carry over into the next universe? That's not exactly how this whole process works. But let's just get to the unity. You'll understand after you've been through it a few times. Will I ever see my friends again? Well, that depends on your perspective, honestly. Uh, but if you're attached to the versions of the people you know from this universe, then uh, a little goodbye chat might be in order. What happens in the Unity? Oh, I'd rather not say. It's, um... 
personal experience. Best to just see it for yourself. Okay, once the uh, armillary is complete, how does it lead to the unity? The armillary just needs to be completed in your ship. Then, once your grav drive gets a little power, the two will react, and you'll be there. Oh, snap, here we go. Oh my god. We done did it, boys. Oh my god. Take the artifact option to talk to your friends before you leave. Wow. It's funny how do we we don't have to wear our helmet there. Now that what you the have all the answers, what are you doing here? We should talk. Yeah, let's talk. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Bunny, I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. Hmm. All right, let's just shoot the armillary into the sun. Maybe we'll make a black hole. We might never see each other again. I'm not sure. Want that either. This is what we wanted, Sarah. This is the Constellation's greatest mission. I was just taking for granted that Constellation would keep going. Past the end. But we don't know what's waiting for us. Say we go to the Unity. Become Starborn. Enter another universe. Will there even be a Constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. Hmm. Dreary humanity or being an immortal starborn with superpowers, such a tough call. You don't have to do it, you know? There's still plenty of our universes out there. Damn. I don't know about you, but... After all this, there's no way I can just stop. I have to know what happens. What this was all for. But if you need time, I can wait. We wouldn't be here without you, so we can let you do the honors whenever you're ready. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Always knew we could pull this off. I really don't want it. This guy's eating through his helmet. What the fuck? I always... I always knew we were going to pull it off, Barrett. Honestly, I did. But I don't want to do it anymore. That's why I was yeah, trying to tell her. It? See if I can convince her so we don't have to do this nonsense. Finally. These new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. Want a uniform and a mask with your face on it? Oddly enough, still not the strangest thing I've seen in the universe. Look, if this is it, are we doing this or not talk? Then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. I guess we'll just fucking do it. Everybody wants to do it. Ah. <sighs> I, I really just whatever. Yeah, that's why I said it first. See you on the other side. Hmm. Got a minute to chat? Maybe a few minutes. Probably not hours. I'd have to go all the way no back guarantees. to speak to my friends. I'd have to the other remaining people. I'd have to go all the way back, I think. 
I don't know if we can... Like, I don't think we can fast travel all the way to the lodge. From here. We cannot. Dude, that would take forever. You've completed the armillary. Once you power up your grav drive, you'll jump into the Unity. Remove the armillary from your ship if you need to grav jump to anywhere else. Power up the grav drive to jump to the Unity. Wait, what happens when you do that? Ship's all banged up. Time to leave this place behind. We're locking into orbit now. understanding but still not entirely accurate the unity is what was what is and what shall be it is nowhere and everywhere nothing and everything it is the unity any other meaning is entirely up to you all of you I don't sound anything like that. That's true. So this is a unity. I was expecting more. The infinite only exists. Judging it makes no difference. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are have been and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Mm -hmm. So wait, am I dead? I did what I pleased and took what I wanted. Being good was never the plan. I mean, we all have regrets, if we're honest anyway. I've done all I can and made peace with what I couldn't. good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. Whoa. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind. Forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. 
Starborn said I would be reborn. This sounds like death. Skip to the part where I become more powerful. All too much. I don't understand. Wait, the artifacts, the temples, the armillary. Who created them and why? Yeah, it's interesting. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. That isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the Unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. That's freaking trippy, man. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. <laughs> As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. What the hell, bro? What the f The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. reborn once again. His ethic of expediency and individual will spreads throughout the universe he leaves behind. Many will find the courage to rise and seize power from those who have it, for good or ill. Hmm. Alright, so... I guess let's just... Let's go through it then. You can return to your universe. That's just, we have to do this. That would be dumb. We would have done all of this for nothing. This universe behind. A new universe awaits you. Will you be in this world? What choices will you make? Oh. That is so trippy.
guys believe in that? Like the multiverse? Do you guys believe in space? I know there's people out there that don't believe in space. There's other people that believe in space but don't believe that we can exist in another universe. And there's people that do. It's all so crazy and so difficult to understand and really grasp. But man, that was nuts. So I'm wondering now what happens after the credits? Do we get... Does anything happen? Oh. One small step. Starborn. That is what you have become. A being who has touched the infinite. Your story is over, but will begin anew. In this universe and the countless others. You will remember all you have learned. Your possessions and everyone you knew have been left behind. Explore this new universe and all it offers. And perhaps take another trip through the unity. What the fuck? Oh. So this is our spaceship now? Because we are starborn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh shit What What the heck Oh my god I am Starborn. Yes. I've made it. I am invincible. I have space all to myself. I'm lonely as shit. That's a cool freaking suit, man. We got four more skill points that we can do. Increase this one. Um, I also want to do the oxygen one. Still can't do it. What else we got here? I want to increase this. This was for security, right? For the digipix. Yeah. And maybe piloting. I think we have a little more points. One more point. I'm still going to save that point because there's another perk I want to upgrade soon. I want to do this one once it's ready for the pistol. That's freaking nuts, bro. So what now? Huh. Oh, shit. to the lodge and see what happens. This is so crazy. 
So this is like you're just starting. You're starting brand new. If you think about it. That is so cool. Can we just like go here? Or is it the lodge? Unknown. We can't. It's an unknown location. This is basically your new game plus. In a way. No guns. That's wild. So we could have gone back and then stayed with everything we had acquired. But then I felt like that would have been pointless considering we've been after this, you know, this whole time. I wonder if I'll miss you at And then, you know, we, we got to check out what happens. But I guess the trade off is like a really cool suit, a really cool spaceship that you can grab drive anywhere, which is I mean, it's such a huge, huge, huge deal in this game. Well, let's see who's here. See, all the missions are coming back. Oh, boy. Put your fist down. Oh, hi. Hello? Excuse me, this is a private. Wait, there's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? Repeat the main quest. I want to join Constellation. Unravel this mystery with you. Skip the main quest. I'm not who you think you are. I'm not who you think. I'm a starborn. I know what the artifacts are. You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear him out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if he's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. I am not from this universe. There is a place called the Unity which connects all realities. This is going to sound weird, but I've done all of this before. I came here with an artifact and joined Constellation. Starborn hunts the artifacts across the multiverse, each hoping to be the one that constructs the... Um, okay, let's go for the second one. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. Remember, in the end, the power of the unity is mine. <sighs> that sounds like the hunter. The power is mine. You could gather uh, up the artifacts easily while I look for the other starborn. There are artifacts I pulled out of bedrock myself. Ones that granted visions. I don't know if you should rush off to meet them. Some of those artifacts granted you powers, am I right? We should leverage that. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. Hmm. You track down the artifacts the eye finds while we gather the others. You are not the same Sarah I knew, but it's still good to see you again, old friend. The hunter killed one of you in my universe. You will not do the same here. Thank you for believing me, Sarah. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. <laughs> While it is customary to say, hello, Starborn. Captain, I will proceed to my <laughs> assigned post. So, I'm gonna get uh, the robot this time around. 
My ship can have five people. That's Even amazing. Even the trace physiological and neurological readings I'm able to pick up from you are unprecedented. You really are something. I know, I'm a big deal. Let me see, are we really doing... Among the stars, I must search the new universe for the artifacts. Yeah, this is literally like starting anew. That's crazy. I want to see how exactly we enter this this spaceship. Is it through the wing? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. That is cool. So I think this is where we're going to call it quits for this video. Man, this game, honestly, uh, the story really did captivate me a little bit more towards the end. I was, I was contemplating on not finishing this game at some point because I felt like the story was just not grabbing me. Like I was just not as invested as I thought I was going to be. So I pushed through it a little bit. And I actually liked where this ended off and I think it's a really cool and interesting topic and idea for a video game and I like how the new game plus kind of goes hand in hand with becoming a starborn and going into another universe within the multiverse and that's where your new game plus continues and you can keep doing that over and over and over and over again I think that's really cool I kind of wish we would have kept all of our stuff to be honest but it's okay I know I probably could have gone more in depth in certain things, upgraded more things, but I really wanted to get the main quest out of the way because people have been saying it in order for you to understand everything and finally get the world opened up for you and really just be able to enjoy Starfield for what it is, finish off the main quest. And I agree, it really does kind of all come together and you understand it more. And I'm really happy that I did that. I wanted to thank you guys for those of you who kept coming back and supported the series, came out, hung out with us, watched some videos. It truly means a lot, guys. And last but not least, you're probably still wondering, what do I now officially rate this game? I still don't think it's a 7. I think it's better than a 7. But I don't think it's better than an 8. I think it is an 8, and I think that's a fair score for this game. Story-wise, even, the story was great but it's not a 10 out of 10 story. I also feel like this game is a game that it's probably better when you play it than when you watch it. I think this is one of those games that I would probably play a lot more than I would make videos on because there's just too much to do. It's too big. And um, there's only so much that you can include in a video before it just becomes too much, I think. And so, yeah. If it's a game that you just want to sit back, relax, and enjoy, this is... This is the perfect game. There is tons for you to do, a lot for you to loot, upgrade, and do things over and over and over again in different ways. And if that's something you're looking for in a video game, then I think Starfield is definitely for you. But I'm happy we finished it, and I'm happy you guys joined me. There's a lot more games coming soon here on the channel, and that's why I honestly kind of stuck to the main quest a little bit more than usual. But um, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.